Hello and welcome to Raising Your Business, where we help you grow your wings to go home where you come from. A message from Archangel Metatron. My dear beloveds, I come to you today with a message of love through alchemy. There has been greatly praised magicians in your modern history. Do you remember them? Do you remember when you were the real one? Centuries ago, while you were running, hiding in fear that secret knowledge might get lost, slip through your fingers when you discovered that knowledge is, always is, in the ethers. You realized that you must cultivate abilities to mold that knowledge into the physical, transcribe, transcript what you see, what you hear from the higher realms first. God is, so is information. Papers get burned, bodies get persecuted, knowledge lives forever. You discovered the infinite potential of what can possibly be accomplished when all of it passes through the ethers into the physical. Beloved, innumerable lifetimes, increased levels of knowledge spread. Are you satisfied yet? No. What are you trying to prove and to whom? There is no here, no there. Knowledge is vibing. Catch the tone and play with it. Alchemize and multiply your abilities, for they are needed on your next level of upgrade. There is knowledge and light, sunlight. Have you partaken from it? Next time it's sunny, catch the ray. Close your eyes and listen. Let it penetrate through your third eye. Let your pineal gland drink of the sunlight. It knows how to do it. Please don't underestimate your chakras, especially the ones you are not aware of. They are working diligently for you and on behalf of the collective, on a galactic scale that is. To learn more about all this, you ought to stay awake in your dreams and remember upon coming back, you ought to master your lucid dreaming. It's all there, free and unlimited. Depending on your skills, you get to travel to certain dimension, learn skills or download the knowledge, then bring it back to your waking state. We see you, beloved, you are trying, trying hard, yet not always with right intentions. Discover how your body best breathes in prana, and prana will direct you to every step of awakening, as you call it. The less efforts you put into it, the easier it is because all that is needed is surrendering to your I am. Initiate the search into what you call unknown, coming home to yourself through the conscious state. How beautiful, beloved! That's your alchemy. To tread this path, what seems like a discovery who and what God represents by bringing bits and pieces of knowledge from the higher realms into the waking state just to integrate it and get going to your God Self. Are you seeing the paradox of this reality, yet the beauty of this journey of self-discovery? For some, it might be easy. For some, constant obstacles seem to block their way. Always check in with your higher self. He, she knows all best for you, because while you are in the physical, you all have a unique conscious mind. Therefore, your path is modified to your mind's liking, so to speak. Dwell in royalty of your galactic heritage. That's what you are here for, to spread the wings and stardust in order to align the beautiful Earth star with your galactic star. Stellar Gateway, the blueprint of your galaxy. The Earth hungers for knowledge of her value in regards to the galactic ascension as she is ascending with you yet not many pay regards to her. Beloved, didn't she participate in all of your earthly incarnations, even prehistoric? Recycling isn't enough to be on board of the fifth dimensional earth. It is important to ground yourself and connect your heart to her heart as she grieves and rejoices with you. It is when you appreciate the detailed work of all beings who participate to enlighten you, you shall recognize your inner greatness not from ego point, but from heart point. A lot has been said there about heart space, the engine of your soul. The heart feeds off of love from Father, Mother God. 
no need to block the flow by unnecessary suffering. Suffering has become normal for this type of existence, yet the awakened one must recognize when he, she is wasting energy, the life force. What are you giving most power to every day? Is it to external or to your I am presence? Do you remember what it felt like to live in the light? We do. Enlighten yourself by illuminating your path. It is yours. Only you can do it. With help, if you so require, but perceive from the eyes of the Almighty. It isn't difficult. You've done that before. Collective unity is important to align into the next level of being. Who will be the next? There are no losers, for all are the winners. Remember soaring through the galaxies when there was nothing stopping you till you stopped yourself. And so it is that you chose the state of separation. But you are coming back, and we're cheering you on, welcoming every cell of your bodies. You are more than who you think you are. Low vibrational thoughts are frequencies too, you know. They pick up on other low vibrational frequencies, which snowball into manifesting problematic situations in life. So unblock your path, stand up and be that you are. The eternal flame of Father, Mother God is continuously burning with love for you. I am Archangel Metatron, bowing to you. Blessings. Thank you.